Welcome to episode 177 of Clarity Compressed. I'm Paul J. Daly. I'll be your host. And today I get to lead you through how to lean in to your own style. <laughs> Let the good times roll. This is Clarity Compressed. All right. So you know that as you go through life, you become more comfortable with certain things, or at least you become more experienced and maybe you have the advantage of a little hindsight. And we know hindsight is always 2020, where you can see clearly what has happened and what is going on. So for me, I wanted to talk about how to lean into what is authentically you. You hear these words all over the place, like be you, be authentic, but specifically speaking in, in two realms, and I think they're very, very closely related. And last week's podcast, if you haven't listened to it, I talk about how creatives and entrepreneurs are very, very similar. So that's to say art and business are very closely related. And let me explain that for a second. So creative talent, creative arts, you're, you're synthesizing stuff, you're taking uh, all these inputs and you're putting the expression of yourself into them and, and that comes out in you know drawing or, or design arts or music or performance art. And all of this thing is this culmination of kind of what your personality is and how you interpret the world. Well, business is very similar. I mean, granted, there are certain rules in business that you have to follow to be in business. There are legal guidelines and accounting guidelines and principles of profit and company culture and all this stuff. However, it's very similar in the sense that good businesses, good entrepreneurs, good business people take the inputs of everything and they kind of run it through the filter that is them. And the ones who do that really well, actually people start to gravitate toward them because they understand or they like the perspective or they like the output of that person's interpretation of all the inputs. Are you following me? So today I want to talk about how to understand what that is for yourself and lean into it. Now, you already know because you've been exposed to the podcast and probably some social media or saw me at a keynote and you realize I don't look like the quintessential business person. If you've seen me speak, typically it's in a room with people that are wearing suits and ties and dress shoes, and I don't wear suits or ties or dress shoes. I have, but I typically don't. I typically look just like this. This is my work uniform, right? I have this jacket, I have this hat, I wear Nikes, um, I wear t-shirts, and guess what? That's okay for me, and I've become very accepting of that fact, and the more that I've done it and the more that I've leaned into it, the more other people have become accepting of it as well. I'm going to talk about three things today. And the first one is this. If you feel different, if you feel that in business, um, in creative, whatever, if you feel like there's something about you that's different than everybody else, don't try to squash it. Don't try to get rid of it. Because that is likely a gift that you have been given. That is likely a texture that is to add to the conversation or add to the fabric. Lean into it. If you feel like there's a different interpretation or there's something different, lean into it. Because when you start to try to hide it, when you start to try to make it like everybody else's and make it look like the rubber stamp and you put on the uniform and you go and you try to say and do the same things or produce the same type of work, the second you do that, that unique thing that we all need, that style gets lost. And on top of that, you are just less effective because it's not how you're wired. So that's my first thought. If you feel different, lean into those differences. And the second really is understand what the fundamentals are. Okay, you can get away with this a little bit more in the creative arts than you can in the business world, but think about the artists that have really risen to the top. I'm gonna to use music as an example. You see these artists and let's be honest, a lot of times they, they do some weird stuff or they seem kind of weird, right? They lean into that, but there's an element of the art that is really magnetic and draws us into it. Now, in business, in the business world, right, there are other fundamentals that you have to have in place. If you're gonna run a successful business, you have to have some financial fundamentals, you have to make decisions according to rules. However, you don't have to be perfect. You have to understand what the fundamentals are for your style, and you have to follow them. So for me, I love to be organized, but if I was the kind of person like a Michael Hyatt that every area of my life is super organized and super productive, right? I would 
kind of die inside. However, I do listen to him because I want to get better at those things. But I do also know that that's not the lane that I run in. My fundamentals are human connection. So regardless of how I dress or how my book looks, it looks like a manifesto, right? It's called a manifesto. Regardless of how that looks, when people hear what I say and see how I act and look at my track record, they're going to start to see that my fundamentals are human connection. And so when I do things, build a company, serve a client, deliver a keynote, make content, my fundamentals are like connection first and everything else follows. And I lean into that. And that works for me. It doesn't mean it works for you. If I tried to be like you, you'd realize really quickly it was inauthentic. If you try to be like me, everyone's going to realize pretty quickly that it's inauthentic. So you have to understand what makes you different. Realize it's a gift and then define what your fundamentals are. And it's always in business. It's always going to be within a lane. So you do have to pick it. It can't just be anywhere. Can you imagine if I act, acted like, you know, some music rock star, right? And just treated people like that and expected those things. Like I can never be a business person. Are you kidding me? I couldn't because it's not just about the art for me. It's about the people and running hard in that lane, understanding my fundamentals. Finally, it's going to leave my third point that I think will kind of wrap this thing up in a bow. You have to practice empathy in your art, especially if you're in business. Now, I'm not saying that your art needs to be or your creative ability or your lane or your style needs to be subject to what everyone else thinks, but you definitely have to understand how it's received because you can't just go blasting. This is what I think. This is my style. If you don't like it, you can leave, right? That attitude is not empathetic. You have to think, what do I want to accomplish? Okay, so I have this unique style. I understand that it's a gift. I'm going to lean into it. I'm going to understand and designate the fundamentals of the lane I'm going to run in, right? For me, it's human connection, right? That's my fundamental, right? The other, the other stuff is an expression of my personality, right? Customizing the Nikes and wearing what I wear and kind of the way I roll and the way I like to travel and kind of the nature of how I produce things, right? They're never really perfect. Well, nothing's ever really perfect, but they're not like super dialed in and super polished, but they have a lot of heart and they have a lot of human connection because that's my lane. That's my fundamental. So the next step is how are you going to receive it? Because the point of communication is to be heard, right? It's not so that you can just hear my words. It's that you can connect with the principles and that they will either cause you to move closer to or maybe further away from, right? Clear communication is a divider, right? When you understand what I mean, you can either say, I agree with that. I disagree with that. I don't want to be anywhere near it. I want to be really close to it. So practicing empathy is really the art of understanding how your message and how your vibe and how your style and how your fundamentals are going to be received and then crafting your message to make sure that that is accomplished. There's a, a crazy basketball coach. I don't know if you know who Phil Knight is, and he was just psycho. You know, a lot of players loved him. Yeah, he was nuts. I don't fully understand him, but he did have this really great saying that I, that I remember and I quote often. He says, if they're not doing it, you didn't teach it. So he's like, it doesn't matter if you practiced this one play over and over and over all day, every day for a full week. If they don't do it in the game, guess what? You didn't teach it. I love that because it's taking accountability and responsibility on the communicator. The burden of communication, the burden of understanding is always on the communicator, not the person that's listening. It's easy to blame the person that's listening and say, you don't understand. It's like, no, you just suck at communicating. So that's kind of my little thought for the day. My thought for the week is you need to lean into your style, not somebody else's style, not somebody else's style that you like, right? But you have to understand your uniqueness is the gift. And then you have to understand what your fundamentals are and stick to those and everything else will kind of fall along and fall line and in place. Don't make somebody else's fundamentals your fundamentals. I mean, you can adopt. And then the third part is definitely practice empathy in your art so that you can be heard. I hope this gives you some perspective. I hope it gives you some clarity for your week. I want to see all those unique styles out there on LinkedIn, on Instagram. Please hit me up, tag me, DM me. I'll help you work through it. I hope this helps give you some perspective. And until next week, keep pursuing clarity. Keep rocking that style. We can